One thing I like about the series is that you have reasons to believe both Jeanette and Kate. Jamie kind of reminds me of the audience in a way because his loyalties are shifting between the two of them. He has reasons to believe both. He has reasons to distrust both. I would describe Jamie as someone who is trying, trying too hard and sometimes in the wrong ways. And I kind of think of Jamie as a boy who doesn't have everything figured out yet and kind of has this idea of what a man is. And he's been through a trauma, he's been through, you know, this person he's in love with going missing. And then after the trauma, he's like, he's kind of grown a little bit, but he's kind of learned to heal. Jeanette's helped him heal. Uh, but it, it, the, the work he's done has, hasn't been introspective enough. Uh, he, it's kind of a surface level. And so when Jeanette is accused, when Kate comes back, it all comes crashing down in the worst way possible. Uh, and he makes some really bad decisions, uh, repeatedly. Don't you think it's possible that you didn't see what you think you saw? It's bad that you kissed Jeanette, Jamie. I didn't kiss but Jeanette. making me doubt myself is so much worse. When you treat people in a certain way, eventually you just don't have people around you anymore. And I think he recognizes that. I think he ends up being really isolated. And then 95 is the processing of that, the processing of how can I exist if I'm not the version of myself I want to be. When Jeanette came into his life, I think he was really surprised at how much she accepted him for him, flaws and all. That kind of lets him put his guard down and he kind of stops having to feel the need to be something he's not with her. Jeanette is looking for anyone who will love her and take care of her and be there for her. I mean, she's scared and she's hesitant because people have, you know, double-crossed her over and over and over again. You deserve kindness, Jeanette. I don't want it. Jeanette is going through so much and nobody can stay in that, right? Nobody can stay in that kind of depressive mode and sometimes you really need somebody to help pull you out of that and I feel like Angela felt like she was able to offer that to her. Angela's efforts to bring Jeanette out of her shell have, you know, begun in episode one and I think finally she's starting to warm up to them and she's realizing she can't do this on her own. And and she does need a friend. You don't have to always be in this moment. Like, yeah, a bad thing is happening, but there's still hope and there's still joy and you can still have fun in it, and that is okay. Shooting the karaoke scene um, was a lot of fun for that reason. I love me some good karaoke. It was definitely my first time doing What's Up karaoke version, which is a hard, hard song. <laughs> Not a good karaoke choice. I said, hey, what's going on? She wants peace, and yeah, she wants justice, but I think it's more about these people and let's treat people as people and give them some grace and some understanding. She's not a sociopath. She's, she's a teenage girl. Did Jeanette see Kate? Hmm, I don't know. Have to watch to find out. <laughs>